Welcome, friends. I am Reverend Thomas Cunningham. The full moon of October was known to the Anglo-Saxon as the Hunter's Moon. It represents a time to prepare for the coming winter and also reflect on what we are leaving behind. Other names for this moon include the Travel Moon, Blood Moon, and a Dying Grass Moon. These names are related to the turning of the leaves, the migration of animals to warmer climates, and the dying back of plants at the start of the fall. Sometimes when conditions are just right, we are treated to the full blood moon, which is particularly red at times. This month we have an Aries full moon, and this means that passions are high and feelings are intense. It also means that there is a tendency for tempers to flare. So this month, make it a point to do something creative with the lunar energy. And instead of letting it negatively affect you, take hold of it, embrace it, and let it have a useful impact on your life. As the days keep getting shorter, we spend more time in the dark. We do not need to fear the darkness. We can welcome this darkness as an opportunity to look inwards and see what needs to die in us and then be reborn anew. Quiet times need to balance our active engagements with life, and this month presents a wonderful opportunity to release that which does not serve us so that we have space to receive that which will help us expand, grow, and glow. During this lunar cycle, we celebrate the Day of the Dead, an opportunity to engage our ancestors and that have transitioned, and a reminder to live this life fully for those who no longer can. We also celebrate Halloween, which provides us the opportunity to face what scares us so we can overcome our fear and replace that fear with love, life, and light. Here at the United Palace, we honor the full moons and we pray on behalf of all the prayer requests we have received this month. We invite you now to say a prayer or briefly meditate on this season of change as we release these prayers into the universe. What messages do you hear from your ancestors or those who have passed over? What is magical in your life right now? What would you like to manifest now? What joy are you wishing to bring into your life so you may share it with those around you? I will leave you to seek those answers on your journey to discovery. This is Reverend Thomas Cunningham at the United Palace of Spiritual Arts in New York City. Until next time, may your deepest prayers and dreams come true. May the divine shine light into the darkest corners of your life.